equal to we're in the final stages guys 2d over c uh, 1 minus v squared over c squared um i guess i have to square root that one sad 1 minus v squared over c squared wait a second 2d over c that seems kind of familiar can i find that somewhere before not and that folks is the equation for time dilation My name is Professor Shimon, I very familiar with science lab. The relativity is more beautiful than Michael, Elvis, Paris, London, and Japan. Although the high speed trains are pretty cool. Alright, so, um, now let us salute Einstein for laying the foundation of modern physics. Thank you. Um, guys? I think I sent him to New Jersey one too many times. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. Oh, he stopped crying. Never mind. Uh, well, bye. You may have noticed that it took me, well, longer than usual to, well, put him away. Let's just say that one. So, why would that happen? That's right. That's because of time dilation. All right. So what is time dilation? Well, time just dilated a lot there. So if you, if you can see, you just heard what time dilation is. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time. Idiots. They didn't know that, well, I'm not calling you guys an idiot. That's not my ego. Um, you see this compass? That's how big my ego is. But, well, people probably thought, hey, maybe the video is over. That was a pretty short guy thing. Oh, well, I guess I now understand time dilation. And this was a scam. Dislike. But wait, wait, for those of you who looked at the time hole, report to everyone else that the video is not yet over, please. All right, so time dilation. What is time dilation? Well, first, I don't want boring text. And when I say boring text, I mean boring text following me all day. So I'm going to turn off the text and I'm also going to say bye bye to these guys. And by whom, I mean a gigantic ball. That's absolutely huge. And is twice the size of some old planets. Even some dwarf stars out there are, are bigger than this. So yeah, I hope that... Um, Gave you a non-existential crisis, or like an anti-existential crisis, or an ego crisis, I guess. So let's say you have an Earth dude, and suddenly he sees this guy traveling at, well, let's say one half the speed of light in a rocket, a glass rocket. So everybody can see what's happening in there. Better not change. Change clothes, if you know what I mean. Alright. So, um, we'll just ignore what I just said there. Move on. So what the space guy does is the space guy, well, that's too small of a space suit. The space guy, he has brown hair. And what he's doing right now is he's pressing button and that button turns on 
a laser. What is this supposed laser? Well, this laser is right over here. And as soon as he turns it on, it hits the mirror that's on the other wall and then bounces it back. So, if we call the width of the rocket, well, D, which is a very generic name, the time, well, the distance it travels is 2D. So, since T is D over V, classic, that means 2D over C is the speed of light for this man. Or, well, I mean the time for this man. But what about the Earth show? Earth people, Earthlings. What did the Earthlings see? Well, if we copy this situation over and over again, maybe we can get an idea of how this looks like. Alright, so, thank goodness, it's actually the same size. No, not that! I don't want that! I don't want it. And I guess that's right. What the Earthling sees, I'm not gonna lie, the space guy looks like a chip. Is the Earthling sees it start... Well, I'll record that what the Earthling sees of the laser in green. But then, the thing, well, the spaceship travels length L. Which we'll call velocity of the spaceship times the change in time oh, between these, like, iterations. And then, I had to go all the way back down to the light source and now what it sees is well it sees that the laser has to make two trips but the two trips aren't the same god damn i tripped again trip counter 11. all right so the thing is oh sorry not the thing is, that's just a buffer. A buffer. Alright. So, now T is 2D over C. But that's only for the spaceship dude, Chip guy. So, we'll put T not on it. Because he sees not of what the Earthling is seeing. And the height of this thing is well D. But, the length of this is L. So, well, if we make like this diagram, then we can say that this is actually D and this is actually L. So, hmm, this trip is a little different than the other trips because, well, distance formula. And you have to multiply that by two because of, well, other side <clears throat> the greener side if you know what i mean go check out play bricks totally not sponsored all right so <clears throat> now this trip well t is d over v this time no not no not and instead d squared plus L squared over C. A difference in time? How could this be? Alright. So, well, let's just see. See, 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 see. What happens when we just revert this to its original form? C is equal to, well, let's do this. D squared plus L squared over D, 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 D. For time dilation. Just kidding, no. People are going to have heart attacks that way you talk. And this is going to be equal to... Alright, I forgot. Not working. The noggin has to work. The noggin has to log in. So, I'm going to log in my noggin. V, well, let me just make this simple. By the way, this is actually V delta T over 2. Sorry, Noggin has some logging to do. 
log it in to the account. V squared delta T squared over squared two squared. Oh no, four. T. 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 All right. So now to get rid of this mess, we're gonna square both sides. Well, oh, um, well, did I forget something? I did not. Thankfully, c squared is equal to d squared plus v squared, uh, delta t squared over 4 over t squared. T, -t, 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 -t squared. And now... Over here. Well, here we have an abomination that is not to be touched. Oh, damn it. Did I forget a four? You're kidding me. I forgot a four. Well, well, well. Look at me now. I somehow forgot that I had to multiply this by two. So, in the end, there's actually a four covering this since you have to square the two. All right. Dumbo me. Giving us 4d squared plus v squared delta t squared over t squared. Jesus Christ. Oh, we get c squared minus v squared if we subtract from both sides. 4d squared minus over t squared. And now what we do is we cross multiply. c squared minus v squared over 1 equals 4d squared over t squared. Cross multiply. It's kind of fun. And we get t squared and times c squared minus v squared equals 4d squared. It's a lot of squares over here. <coughs> that gives us t squared equals 4d squared or c squared minus v squared. Now we square root everything. We get t squared is equal to 2. <coughs> well, first let's factor out c and what we get is t squared equals 4d squared over well, c squared minus v squared equal to c squared times 1 minus v squared over c squared gives us t is equal to we're in the final stages guys 2d over c uh, 1 minus v squared over c squared um i guess i have to square root that one sad 1 minus v squared over c squared. Wait a second. 2d over c. That seems kind of familiar. Did I find that somewhere before? Hmm. T naught. And that, folks, is the equation for time dilation. <laughs>